to show you the basics of doing an oil painting. I'm going to do, demonstrate this through a simple oil painting and go through the steps of how it's done and everything. But if first you'd like to understand the tools and materials used with oil painting, please click to your left. Okay, so now we're going to get started. Okay, so we have our picture of our lemon that we're going to paint today. And this is basically what it looks like, and this is I'm going to show this image on my computer and use it to start painting. Okay, now I'm putting out my colors on the palette, and I'm only using red, yellow, and blue for to make all my colors. Those are the primary colors. So I mixed a yellow, and now I'm mixing blue and red to make a purple because for the shadow I'm going to do a purple type shadow instead of a gray shadow like it really is. This is white paint right there. You always need white paint with oil paints, a big container of it because you go through a lot of it. And the reason why I'm mixing purple and yellow is because they're complementary colors and they go well together on on your your paper. So I, I'm using that palette knife to mix them, mix them together. that right there is paint thinner and this is what you use as your water and you put it in you can just put it in a regular cup plastic cup like that and uh, you don't put very much just a small amount towards the bottom now this cup is another plastic cup with the top cut off and I put linseed oil in there And if you watch my other video you can understand what the purpose of linseed oil is. So here we have a preliminary sketch with just a you know, mechanical pencil, nothing special. And so now I'm going to start painting. You always dip your paint brush in a little bit of linseed oil to mix it in with the paint. Some people like to mix their linseed oil actually in the paint before they start painting. With oil paints you always want to start with the darkest color first and then work your way towards the lighter colors because the lighter colors tend to be on top. When you can't do this in watercolor because watercolor paints mix, whereas oil paints you can paint on top of each other with the colors. And so now I've mixed, you can tell that this isn't a bright yellow, I've mixed a little bit of red and a tiny bit of blue to make this golden yellow type color. And like I said, you can make all colors with the primary colors, besides white, of course, which is why I have a big bottle of it. Now I'm filling it in with a little more gold-type paint. And this is a very simple painting. This is nothing spectacular. In between colors, you always want to clean off your paintbrush with the paint thinner. Really nice. You can't tell in this video, but I did do that, and because you know you don't want a bunch of mixed colors on your paintbrush, or you'll get a nasty brownish black color, and that's not what you want on your paper. So now I just highlighted it with some white, and then I went back over the darker areas and darkened it some more. And with oil painting, that you know it's a slow process. If you see something you want to fix later, you can always go back and fix it. And this paintbrush I'm using now is a very small paintbrush for the little details. Putting a purplish blue type shadow on the left side. Those are your cool colors, blue and purple, and your warm colors are yellows and reds. And I, I'm putting the blue on that side because it's farther away from the source of light. And then the, the orangish color and reds, the shadow goes on the other side. And there's our finished painting.
So this was a very simple painting that any beginner can do. And I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned a little bit today. Thanks. Okay, so this last part is for Dr. Strange. He wanted to see some of my work. So here are some of the paintings that I've done over the past few years. Um, and here are two works in progress. I've still got to do the shading on the shirt. This is my hound dog, actually. Her name's Ellie Mae, and she's going to be dressed up like a hillbilly. And this is a big project. Uh, it's a big piece of plywood that I'm painting a pub sign for my dad. And I've still got to do the other side, and I'll get around to it when I get done with all my EDM 310 homework, maybe. So, yeah, those are two works in progress.